So, I watched that Oblivion movie with Tom Cruise. It was pretty cool, and I liked that little thingy that he was flying around in. So I thought I'd make a tiny little one as a prototype, see if I could get a feel for the shape of the damn thing. Um, I think I did a pretty good job in the end, although I will be showing this uh, again soon. Uh, it was a bit of a fun build, and I don't remember what I did with it in the end. But I got a blueprint, so, you know, the idea was actually to use the engines as little turrets that don't fire, so that they would face, you know, I could put the engines on the back, and then they would actually face the uh, my selected target, and then by positioning a core, I could make, you know, I could fly for towards a core and then land below it. And if I flew along and then landed below it, what happened with the engines would be facing forward, and they'd actually tilt backwards as I went below the core that was targeted and then I could land on a planet and it would look like a VTOL you know it looked like the engines were actually swiveling uh, just like in the movie um, I went a bit nuts with uh, trying to make the uh, shape of the cabin and I went a bit nuts with the engines they were a bit large and I don't actually show you the uh, three-footed landing gear which I built for this uh, in this video but the idea is there I had a great time building this little cockpit it's always fun trying to fit everything into a really tiny space. Um, also, the guns were way too big, but they were woefully underpowered in the scale that they were in in the movie. <coughs> so, I was thinking of scaling this up a little bit, because this is I don't make ships any smaller than this, usually. Um, but we're going to take it for a little bit of a fly real quick, because this is all I've got, really, in this terms of footage. Flying about over a planet, and uh, as you can see, here's the cockpit view. It's pretty cool feels like you're in the ship which is nice um, nice view screen effect there and then this is the ship with the engines deployed forward so I deliberately flared them out a bit so thanks for watching see you next time